this episode of Let's Play XCOM. I'm now down on the planet. Uh, I realized while I was equipping troops that I panicked to go hit the UFO before it lifted off and I forgot to give us armor. So yeah, oops. That's a dumb mistake, but I got everybody equipped. Here's Arkan, our sniper, who will soon have a la heavy laser. Godfist, he is um, a sniper. Uh, laser rifle sniper, so I'll keep him back a bit. Pretty good firing, actually, to start out. Scar is a laser rifle guy. That's a, he'll always have. Um, I'll probably equip him with decent grenades and other kind of stuff. He is a cannon fodder guy. Kinchan. Uh, another sharpshooter, assault breach kind of person, probably I'll use you as. Josh likes lasers, so I'll just give you lasers and stuff. Here is our auto cannon specialist who I forgot to load his weapon. What? Oh, that's right. Oh, all right. I messed up a little bit. Who had his things? Are they all on the ground then? All right. I'll get you some ammo in a second. We'll see. And then these two people in the back. All right. Let's walk around. Tank cannon. I don't see nothing. Where am I anyway? That's a wall. That's a UFO. There's a door right there. Hmm. Oh. 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 Damn. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. So much for that tank. We're gonna get spanked. Alright. Oh, lord. Arkin, you are weak as hell. That's not a good thing at all. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I loaded high explosives in here. And those are good for this. Yeah! It might be a while before we raise your strength, but we'll get up there. I don't want to get killed. <laughs> Where's our little scout guy at? Adam Day. Have at it, Mr. Adam. Uh, but this is actually the perfect time to do this. Prime grenade. And a good trick is to drop it. It's far cheaper than throwing it. That's for sure. Aliens are not nice at all. They already blew up. Dang. Alright, so I'm going to prime this. I'm going to drop it. And I'm going to find... See, here's all your high explosive ammo for your auto cannon. I forgot to load it into your uh, weapon. There's a lot of door using going on. Um, you see this little gray bar down here on my health? That's actually how you can suffocate. I think I mentioned that during the terror mission. But yeah, your strength indicates what you can carry on your person, so these heavier weapons are not as good if you have a considerably low strength. like our good old friend Ark in here. Already causing adversity. Alright. Let's get these guys out. These guys will scout for us. So the tactic I like to use is keep my good guys back. And send my crappy guys out to scout. Uh, when your crappy guys see... see an alien, you just shoot from across the map with your good guys. It starts to be a little bit less effective later on when you actually want to have good troops all the time. It's going to be a long mission, I think. Alright. So Adam Day, see, I think... 
a good thing to do is get you ready to unload a whole bunch of explosives everywhere. See, advantage of the lasers is the mobility because of the lightness of the weapon. So I can't even see the buildings they're moving in. Alright. So this is always dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway. Auto shot. Destruction! It's my favorite thing about the auto cannon. It's just indiscriminately firing. Destroying stuff. I don't want to get this guy killed for no, no good reason. And the UFO's landed, so I don't want to use um, high explosives to get into the UFO. So I'm actually going to have to breach it properly. Which is actually quite difficult, because there is there's only an open space. There's a reactor in the middle, some consoles here, and then the aliens just kind of hang out. And I know there is somebody over there, because he opened the door and did not close it. So what I'm going to do is fire blindly. Maybe I'll get lucky and hit an alien. I also like to destroy obstacles and aliens. Since they have unlimited ammo. Hmm. I don't see anything. Hit anything. might be an alien up there-ish. Uh, the thing about landed UFOs is I th they might have more time to like spread out, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. Because you'd think uh, if you crash it, they have like, nowhere to live because <laughs> you blew up their UFO. That first guy killed my tank. 